Hi, this is Eric from North Shore Apartments. We're at 836 Judson, unit number 1A, standing at the front door. All right. So you kind of walk into the entrance here that's locked. And then you have your first floor entry right here that we're going to walk into. All right, so I'm opening up the door. And here's your living space, which we'll get to, which is about three steps down, but you walk right into a powder room. Okay. So there's the half bath, powder room. Okay. And then if you turn this way, you have one stairwell to go up. And then here's your stairwell to go down. All right, so we're gonna walk down the stairs. Okay. And your view here is into the courtyard. But you have a nice big open room. You can make like kind of like that into like a little office. You have a huge living space. And this has central air, so there's no uh, duct work or open exposure on the, on the first floor. So it's hardwood floors, nice high ceilings. Okay, so you kind of have like a living room and dining area combined, as you can see. You have a couple of closets okay you have like a pantry which is really nice okay you have a good size this is your just your furnace room okay so kind of minus the closet there but still nice to have all right and you have your little where the stairs are kind of like I said like a little office area there or just part of an extension of the living room and then I'm going to show you the living room from another perspective, which you can kind of see the breakfast bar and the dining area. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right, just panning around. Okay, now we're going to walk towards the kitchen, and you can get to it from two different kind of ways. You have your breakfast bar here with it. It makes it very open. Okay. And then we're going to walk into this over here. And you have like your back entry here that takes you outside. Okay. And then you have like another closet over here. It's like big storage. Okay. Okay. Then you're going to go into the kitchen here, and it's just it's a real nice high end kitchen. Got a stainless steel dishwasher, nice big fridge, it's two doors, plus a freezer on the bottom, so it gives you a lot of storage. Okay. Some more cabin space up top. Again, the breakfast bar, stainless steel microwave, five burner stove and oven. Okay, lots of storage space. I'll just open some of them. This gives you like a lazy Susan. Okay, then you have a lot of drawer space. Okay, and you have a lot more cabinet space and counter space. Okay, you got a double stainless steel sink, stainless steel um, dishwasher. Okay, so I'll just give you a little bit more of a perspective of the kitchen again. Okay. Alright, and then we're going to walk back in and go upstairs now. Okay. All right. So we're going to walk up the stairs, which is really nice. Okay, so it is a duplex up. Okay, so we're going to walk up the stairs as you're walking up. Okay, you have a second entrance to a hallway. So actually two entrances to the apartment. Okay. Now here's the smallest bedroom. Okay, again, hardwood floors. 
Okay. Then we have a nice size closet in here. Okay. And then we're going to go into this master bedroom. So the master bedroom is kind of like a suite. Okay, so you walk in through the door, you got a big walk-in closet, which is really nice. Okay, then you got a huge bedroom, and what's nice about it is the closet isn't in the bedroom. I mean, it is, but it's separate of it, so you have, you could fit a king-size bed and then some in here. Okay. Please keep in mind they have, you know, they do have a newborn here, so it's kind of a lot of stuff and all that, but it's a real nice big bedroom. You kind of have east, west, and north exposure, so you're going to get a lot of sunlight too. And this is the one that's up a floor here. Okay. And then I'm going to show it to you from one more perspective. Okay. And then there we're going to walk into the master bath, okay, which is huge. So you have like, you kind of walk in, got your sink, got your rain shower and all that. Nice high-end uh, cabinet, lots of storage. You got nice high-end floors. Okay, I'm gonna show it to you from a couple different perspectives. You can see you have double double sink. Okay, lots of storage there. Okay, got your rain. Okay. All right, you got a rain, you know, that rain shower on the top. Plus, you got a handheld thing. All very nice. Okay. I'm just going to give you one more perspective. Okay. All right, we're going to walk out. One last look of it. Okay. Now you're going to go into a hallway here. Okay. There's your stairs down again, and you got a, you got do have a stackable washer and dryer. Okay. And then you have your second bathroom. Outside the second bathroom, though, you do have a little bit of a linen closet, which is really nice. Okay. And then you have a full second bathroom. Okay, you got nice, nice uh, sink here, nice floors, double mirror. Okay, you walk in, and you still have another soaker tub here. Okay, beautiful high-end tiles. Okay. Okay. And then the last room is the third bedroom. Okay, which is like a middle-sized bedroom. So you have the small bedroom, the master, now the medium-sized bedroom. So this doesn't have nearly as much light, but it would make a great office or a guest room. They kind of have blackout shades because they have a little child in here, but it will get a little bit brighter than that. Okay, and there is a good-sized closet in here. I'm not going to open it, but there is a good-sized closet. All right. I'll show you one last time on the of this bedroom and we're going to finish up. All right, thank you very much.